Taking a divot, it's something that you see every single professional golfer do. Many amateur golfers really struggle to get it, get that golf club descending down enough into the ground to get that really nice compressed feeling off the club face. If this sounds like you, well, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Let's get stuck in. Welcome back to the channel guys, Kerry Gray here today on the course at Joondalup Resort. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to create that divot, that beautiful piece of grass that's get taken after the impact of the golf ball flies out in front of you. It is the result of an efficient golf swing. It's the result of getting that golf club working down into impact, exactly how you see the best players in the world. But before we get into it, please go down below, click subscribe, click that little bell if you haven't already, just so you get notified of all these videos that I'm putting out. We're really gonna go full steam ahead and release as much content as possible. If you're looking for something a little bit more personalized than what I offer here on the YouTube channel, well, you can head over to my website, www.kggolf.com. There's a link down below. We can do personalized online coaching in regards to swing analysis. We can look at your short game, your putting, whatever you like. There's also a membership library there with plenty of videos unreleased here on the YouTube channel. But enough of that, into today's content, we're gonna be talking all about getting that ball first, ground second contact to really help you if you're looking to get that divot. Now, one of the biggest concerns for a lot of players when they walk into the studio to get a lesson, they say, I just really feel like I'm not getting enough out of my strikes. I feel like I've got the power, but we're really not sending the ball as far as I would like. And a lot of that comes down to their efficiency of strike. Now, a golf club is designed to work on a descending blow, meaning that the golf club would come down, strike the ball, and then the ground second. And then a divot is an effect of that. Now, obtaining a divot is about controlling two key elements. The first is what we call low point, which means that the divot would be in front. We're gonna talk about that. And the second would be your arc height and the height of the golf swing, meaning how low or high the golf club comes in relative to the golf ball and the ground. So what does the professional golfer do in regards to these two elements to produce a divot? Well, the first of them would be ensuring that the low point or the bottom of the swing arc would be in front of the golf ball. We see that the professional golfer generally gets this about four inches in front, which is a big difference from usually what we see with the recreational golfer. Believe it or not, two inches behind, six inches, that's a massive difference in the control of their low point. The second piece is the height of that, because I could very well have a bottom of a swing, the low point, which is in front of the golf ball, but if my club doesn't actually go down into the ground enough, well, we're not gonna get a divot. So ensuring that we're getting two of these pieces working in unison is going to help us achieve that divot that we're looking for. So that's all fair and well, but how do we go about in actually producing that? And really there's one big key that we look for, and that is where your mass is located at the moment of impact. The mass being pretty much your body. Now, if I am a player whose body is back and up, well, the low point will be behind and rising, generally going to hit a top shot. If I'm a player who is, as an exaggeration, really low down into the ground, well, we can see the bottom of the swing is going to be massively underneath the golf ball. I'm more than likely going to hit a divot behind the golf ball. So a great point of reference to try and figure out exactly how to get a divot is to actually video yourself and see where your body is at the moment of impact. And really what we would like to see as a reference is at the moment of impact, that the lead armpit, this position here, if we were to draw a line straight down in front, we wanna get that about in that position about four inches in front. Now, really as a reference, you'd be kind of looking just inside that left heel there. That would be a good reference of where your lead armpit needs to be at the moment of impact. Now, from the down the line view here, in regards to getting enough downward strike so the club actually goes into the ground and doesn't come up, if you were to draw a circle around my head, from the top of the swing, we would see the professional golfer shift down into the ground. And then as the golf club's coming into approach, they would then stay in their posture and then finish up and out. A lot of players who struggle with topping the golf ball, well, they find themselves at the moment of impact jumping up. And you can see that would just make it very challenging to get that divot. So what I like to see is players, first of all, getting an understanding that the mass of their body needs to actually move forward 
and feel like it's down. You can see that I've got a reflexing in my knees. You can see that my body is almost crunching the ground. The combination of those will really help me get the contact forward. Now there's one big element here that we haven't discussed and that is all about what the club itself is doing because I could very well position my body in such an orientation that this all looks really good. But if I come through and I start scooping in this position here, well, that just throws that all out of the window. So understanding that the golf club is designed in such a way to have some lean of the shaft is really important as well. So there's a great drill that I'm gonna show you that's really gonna help combine all these three together. So what I want you to do is you're gonna load up all your weight onto your front foot. And you're just gonna simply shift your body forward. Now, from this position here, we are really gonna feel like we're not gonna shift back onto that trail foot or the right foot for the right hander. We're gonna feel like we're gonna keep a lot of weight on that front side. Now, as we do so, what we're trying to feel is that the left shoulder coming down into the golf ball is staying as low as possible. This is incredibly important for those of you who can't even make contact with the ground. And then on top of that, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna hit a punch shot. So a punch shot is really, if we could use a reference, through the golf ball, we wanna feel like the club and the arms are as extended as possible out towards the target and that we're not breaking this down. Now, the first couple of times you do this, you're gonna to have to do it slow. It is challenging. But if we can make some small swings that look like this, right? So we're gonna load up our weight forward. From here, what we're gonna feel is that our lead shoulder, my left shoulder is staying as low as I can, finishing with a punch shot. Now, you'll start to notice that the exaggeration will encourage the bottom of the swing to be very far forward you'll probably notice that you'll start hitting a lot more of the ground. So then when you actually combine that into a shot, load up the weight forward, feel like the lead shoulder's low, and finish in a punch shot position with our arms and club extended, well, it looks like this. Now, that ball shot off with a lot of compression. And you can see from where I took that divot, the ball was here, the golf club came down on a descending blow, had a low point about four inches in front and then rose out. And that right there, that's a beautiful fillet that any golfer should be proud of if they're looking to get a little bit more compression. So as you can see, if we break this down, we understand where the body should be, how low it should be versus how high, and what the club and the arm should be doing through impact, and you simply just go through this process, well, you'll surprise yourself if you've never hit a divot before. Just by applying these simple ideas, you can really get yourself into a position where you can get some powerful downward strike on the golf ball. Now, as with anything, take your time, start off slowly, then build up. But by going through this process, you'll find it a lot easier to get into a position where you start to take a divot. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you've got any questions at all, please ask me below. But until next time, I'm Kerry Gray. Thanks for watching.